Terry Lee for Tourists, here with Lady Fox and Diddy Reyes, chatting for Retro Vintage Review Magazine, Diamonds and the Blues. Look, it's about a year in, you know, we, we, we met, we both dig the same kind of music, we couldn't believe that, you know, people listen to this stuff and we listen to this stuff and we love to play it and then we started playing it and she was a fucking knockout right from the first time it happened. I do, I wear a lot of, um, yeah, fabulous long sparkly frocks and uh, a lot of vintage, a lot of actual true vintage. You've got a beautiful voice, Lady Fox, Thank it's you. a natural. Have you actually had classical training? No. I haven't. Um, I like to say that I have been taught like the old vintage singers, like Billie Holiday and Ella Fitzgerald. They sat and listened to albums and, and mimicked what they heard. And that's basically summing how you've been performing? It's pretty much exactly how I learned to sing the way I sing. They're in the same so And I think know. when you find the people that actually enjoy listening to it, that's when it becomes more fun. And that's when you go, we need to do more of this. Yeah. We, need to, we need to start exploring this. Or Very much so about it? velvet curtains and... Mm. Golden tassels and wooden stage floors, smoke machines. And the microphone. Smoke. Love your microphone. Vintage microphone. Yeah. Yeah. So you're basically <laughs> doing a mixture of the classics, like classic blues, and sort of like your classic jazzy blues standards, aren't you? Yeah, well, I'm predominantly jazz, and Diddy is I'm just an blues. old honky blues player, you know. I, I love Billie Holiday and Bessie Smith and Lucille Bogan. My Rainey and all those beautiful classic mm. female blues. Yeah. That's that's sort of that's where we're, where we're meeting constantly. Mm. Is that you know a lot of these songs, uh, these jazz standards that people are calling jazz standards, most of them are blues. Mm. They're blues songs, you know, uh, and and that's that's the great place we get to meet, you know. All the Bessie Smith stuff and all the Ella Fitzgerald and all this stuff. Nina Simone, you know, these are all blues mm. songs. You know, these were blues artists. The you got to remember that back then there was there was no word for jazz. The, the jazz wasn't a term. Jazz didn't come around till later, till the until the fucking Americans started coming back from the war with the army bands. They were calling that jazz. Mm, you know? Yeah, but definitely favour more vintage things. Um, my family asked me a lot, "Why do you like old things?" <laughs> because old things are cool. Jazz, <laughs> blue cheese, and gin. I just love that name. You know, I was picturing sort of what sort of blue cheese. I was going literal. Thinking, what sort of blue cheese would I be eating? And what sort of gin? I thought, yeah, lots of gin and a nice blue cheese and jazz. And it did have that vibe. You know, I was surprised that they didn't pass blue cheese and some crackers around. We were, the first time we did that show was in the backyard in Rye. And we were actually asked, where's the blue cheese? Yeah, yeah, we'll just <laughs> keep it moving. Um, yes, that's right. Keep Nocturnal fever. fever. We were talking about nocturnal fever. Fever. <laughs> so we had um, Electric Larry, who was playing harmonica. Killed it. And he did, he did. And we had so a burlesque awesome. performer from yes. Canberra, Jazita. She also killed it. She <laughs> killed it and then made it die. <laughs> it was, she was amazing. Yeah. Jazita was Absolutely fabulous. Yeah. And we did some sort of, you know, what would you call it? Like a live theatre kind of improv kind of stuff we did she That's awesome. she brought two yeah so you know we've got some songs going she's coming along with them we're yes. doing very well with we're going for the trifecta with uh with the gpo this will yeah. be uh, this will be the trifecta if we sell out this one that's three, three sold out songs. shows in a row yeah so, well done. <laughs> so come on down on the fourth of may what got you interested in this sort of singing um i guess i just listened to my grandparents music when they play music they didn't have a television, they just had... What sort of music was it? Players. Just all the old jazz, Nat King Cole and, I don't know, Frank Sinatra. Was this here? In Australia, yeah, they, they immigrated in the 80s. Mm. And um, I just listened to all their stuff. And my dad was a DJ back in South Africa, so he was always into music. And we didn't have a television when I was growing up either. They couldn't afford one, so he just brought his... Um, amp and his players and all of his music over and we just listened to music. What was so your upbringing like? What got you into sort of like blues and stuff? I was listening to everyone else, you know, what everyone else was listening to, you know. Mm. Um, you know, I loved my rock. You know what? I loved my, my, my rock and then I got a bit older and then I really got into hip hop and stuff like that and rap, you know, I loved, you know, NWA and all that stuff. And But it was later on I really kind of realised it was the... 
everything that was being put in that music brought itself back to all the stuff I try to play today. Yeah. You know, all, all, all of the horns and the lines and all that stuff. It's in your blood. I think music. I think everybody's yeah. got no, but, music in them. The, what are you talking about? The, the Latino bloodline. I mean, it's in your blood. I mean, as soon as you think of Latino, they're always dancing, music, happy, laughing. Yeah, Is that true? I, well, I grew up with a lot of yeah. a lot of dancing, a lot of music. <laughs> yeah. Going, you know, yeah, I you know all the relatives would be yeah. salsering on a yeah. Saturday night. You won't see many Aussie families you know. salsering. <laughs> 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 this, yeah, this is a deco, but, but you know, uh, this this would have been fabricated here in Australia. Yes, <laughs> look at this. This yeah. is just some of them. So people, people, mostly men, I'll say. Are, uh, <laughs> Are donating bags of records to Foxy everywhere we play, right? Uh, when my when my grandfather was still alive, he'd always tell me stories. One of the things I loved, and he'd always say, "You know, when I was younger, you used to give the girl that you liked a record. Yeah. That's what you used to give her. You used to give her a record." And it, so, what's yeah. the next step? What have you got planned for this year? Oh, well, we can't tell you. No, we can't. <laughs> if you told me, you have to kill me. Can't tell you what's right? really going on. No, we can tell but you. We what's can tell bought. you. Yeah, we yeah. Which bought. is we're going to Broad Beach. Oh yeah, that would be good. I'm thinking of following you up there just to film you. We've actually come got a few up, people that are up, that are up. wanting to come and follow us up. Straight off stage. Woodstock. We're off to Queenscliff and straight onto the blues train. Yeah. The very day. That, that same very day. night. That same day. <laughs> we got our blues train. It's in Queenscliff. You come on down. You can come we'll on there. Oh my God! We're now filming in Diddy's car. The 77 HZ Deville. You're gonna have to hop in the back. Uh, we just call it the Deville. Thanks. It's beautiful. Look at this. No, how this nice is this? Is, this is leather interior. Mm. Oh, wow. that's good. The back's original. Yeah, it is. It's oh, different this is to the so front. nice. <laughs> Look at the back. All right, so here we are. Uh, first time I've ever been in the back, back seat. seat of this car. Me too. So tell me about this car. I found this car in Shepparton and I saw it online and I was like, I really wanted a car. I, I always drove old cars uh, and I got like a family car when my kids were born. The BA Falcon Futura, and it was like bright gold, and it was the ugliest goddamn thing you'd ever seen in your life. Uh, never felt more like a soccer moment all my life, and, and, uh, and so I had to do something about it. And, and then, you know, so I saw this car, you know, it's a HZ, sitting up in Shepparton, uh, unregistered or whatever, and I went down there and paid it, put it on a trailer on the back with the Futura, and I towed the goddamn thing all the way back. Oh yeah, I've got a club registered. Oh, really? uh, yeah, and uh, when I put it on club registration, I just decided to start my own club anyway. <laughs> uh, so I started my own car club, and uh, now I'm the president of Rockin' Dogs Hot Ride Club, and this is the number one member of the car club. Uh, uh, I actually, you know, I bought this car to really do some of these road trips. I've been doing a lot of road trips to, uh, you know, like country rockabilly festivals and stuff, and, uh, you know, with car shows oh, and stuff, yeah. you know, and I just really wanted to drive my old Deville out there with my guitar and amp in the back, you know, and and just have these cool road trips and yeah, enjoy these festivals. And, and uh, nearly yeah, everyone I that did. I did for like a year, we, we broke down all the way there and broke down all the way back. <laughs> 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 like every crazy. festival, right? Every <laughs> oh, one of them. Oh, and no, uh, and uh, it was a nightmare. Every, every time it was a nightmare. It was hilarious. It was just a nightmare. So what's the fastest but, um, it goes? Well, uh, in 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 spite of all that stuff happening, yeah. I've chucked the money in and now I've rebuilt the motor from from top. So it to won't bottom. break down. No, it's got a, like a brand new motor in it now. It's kick ass, man. Yeah. It's so. been delightful. I think rather than call our little interview like we could nearly do our own jazz blue gin and um, blue, blue, <laughs> blue cheese, cheese and, and gin. gin. I'll get it all right <laughs> soon. What's making me slow? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so what shall we call this little interview? Like it's um, spaghetti marinara. <laughs> 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 Which was very yummy, by the way. <laughs> thank you, thank you. He's uh, an excellent chef. You know, I, I, uh, I nearly burnt the, 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 I nearly the, burnt the kitchen down looking for you on the, the front cob. You did, when you, you rang me and you were nowhere to be found. The and Twilight then, Zone episode. I came back. I came back. The house was full of smoke. <laughs> it's only Twilight Zone. <laughs> it's the stove on. That's what's going to happen when you leave the stove on. And Looking walk for away. Terry in the mm. suburbs. Just give your EP a little plug. What's it called? Oh, Doghouse Blues. 
Okay. Your EP. It's only got four songs on it. It's, it's all right. Just a little jab, just a little How jab. How can they get it? Uh, We're, uh, what's the best place? Where's the best contact? Yeah, you, gotta come to come to a, you gotta come to a gotta show. Come to a show. You we put it online ones. and we've taken it off. We've we taken have. the stance. We, uh, we, it's geographical, man. You had to be there. Well, how you do people follow you then? What, what's the best contact, social media contact? Uh, we have Diamonds in the Blues Facebook, Diamonds in the Blues Instagram. There's Diddy Reyes Instagram. And Diddy Facebook. Reyes is spelt? Uh, D I. It's just like daddy, but with an I. Yeah. Diddy and R E Y E S. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got a website now. You do? I've got right. a web. Get on Diddy the website. DiddyReyes.com. <laughs> Cool. And uh, <laughs> As long as I pay you? my Wix payment, that website will always be there. Yeah, so you like, come on board, right, I'll come excellent. on, I'll make sure I pay the, the thing. The Wix thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm Lady Fox Performs. Everything is Lady Fox Performs. <laughs> In our next episode, I'll tell you the secrets of polishing. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks Australia. for joining us. So this is very similar to the sound that you have with Bessie Smith. So anything you think of on a gramophone, Bessie Smith sang into like a massive gramophone. It was like a massive tube that went out to a speaker. Wow. And then they'd pick up. What, in the No, just in a room. In a studio. In a studio. That was their studio. Shall we continue with exploding kittens? Kittens, good. Like, like a. Uh, are we making? I think we're making this up as we go. We are. Ah, uh, you, you make. You may pick up a card. There's nothing I can do here. What'd you get? I thought we were having an open game. No, catamelon. Catamelon, yes. Also, another completely useless card in the deck. That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> You're a taco cat. That's, that's pretty cool, man. Is that, yeah, alright. Taco Catamelon cat. is not cool. Taco Cat's pretty cool. Just seems really Can strange. my taco cat do like a taco on you? Please do. Okay, so this is how it goes uh, down, right? Yeah. Uh, um, I'm still learning. I don't know what that is. Alright. Yeah. So, um, this must be something. Come on, surely I should be able to do something with Big Cat. <laughs> <laughs> It's, yeah, yeah, so it's just that it's just. So I've got my hand of shite. It's really weird. Yeah. He looks chill, doesn't he? Chill, <laughs> dude. Bearded cat. Can you see the cat? Okay, yeah, I can see the cat. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bang! Oh. I've got an exploding kitten. Oh. Hey!